Thank you, April. I was not recording, but I am now. So um, one of our biggest focuses, we kick off the month together because focusing on what we inspect and to get what we expect is a really key piece. Um, but it helps us really focus on serving people. So tonight's call is actually really about we're going to be focusing on all of you newer managers to you know newer executive directors. By the way, congratulations. I see a bunch of people on here who fall into that category. And the great thing about it is I've been doing this eight years. I still love, I'm so excited every single month. I really just focus on the basic guys. The thing I'm excited to tell you is that it never gets old. Like it just gets more exciting. So um, we're going to focus on a lot of those things that really just facilitate great support that, are, that while helping you do what we call basically living, um, you know, basically the art of entrepreneurship. And if you guys were on our training middle of the month last month, we basically focused on all the things to help serve people and keep balance in your life and to take ownership of all areas of your life, just like the trilogy of optimal health. So um, tonight's call is for that direction. And we're kicking off the month together. So, um, but before we get into tonight's call, um, I just wanted to say a big congrats. And you know, we didn't get to um, congratulate a lot of the people last month. We had a lot of new executive directors, new directors, associate directors. So um, Carla, Patty, Glenda, new executive directors, congratulations, Taylor, Diane, Becca, Charlotte, and much more. And we had a lot of new associate directors and managers. And Mike, I see you kicking butt over there. We'll get the app figured out for you eventually. I, I'm sure we will. <laughs> um, but uh, just congrats to all of you guys. And even before we kick off the call here, um, and actually, you know, new fully integrated regional, Janet, uh, congratulations there as well. It's your heart shining through, serving a lot of people. Thought we'd just open it up to just share some tips. You know, again, tonight being a big focus on how we simply and effectively connect and grow and serve the people around us. Just want to open up with some tips that you guys have maybe learned recently. Um, I gave a tip to a few people that I might, you know, want them to share, but you know, just feel free to come off mute. What's really working well for you this last little bit? You know, what has made some difference and what are you doing that's really working for yourself? So feel free to come off mute, whoever wants to come off and share. I'd like to share. All right, go for it, Janet. Yeah, I just want to put a shout out to, you know, my team of, of coaches, you know, Shireen and Lori and you too, Brad. It's like, when you start this business, you're really creating something from scratch. Like there's just like, there's nothing there. And then you put a picture on Facebook, that's it. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're in business. And I think that the just in time hands-on training is just unbelievable for me because my business didn't take off at first. So, you know, I had different needs and then it got really busy and then I had different needs. Can I handle this? So when they really give me what I need in that moment, um, they know more than I do because they've been through everything I've been through and then some. So it's really like this experience of I really trust completely now. I always trusted the program and the products, but now I'm really trusting the training. I really trust the company. I'm trusting this whole process and I'm trusting myself a lot more because I like to be in control. I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but you know, you know, I like to know what I'm doing and honestly, there's a time when, when the business is growing, like I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing in the front with my clients. And I'm definitely not really sure what I'm doing with my coaches or even the back end in the business. I feel like I'm kind of like suspended. And so I'm uncomfortable when I don't really know, but um, that's what I've learned. I don't have to know it all. I don't have to really get it because they've got my back. And so they're, coaching me they show up they're positive they're they got my back i'm learning how to be with my clients and i'm learning how to be with my coaches by just modeling their behavior and so far that it, it's working for instance i have a new i have a new coach who's just kicking tail and he had a client that was just sort of you know having some issues we didn't quite know what it was and i could see him trying to figure it out and then I realized, I told him, you don't have, this is not on you, Mike. We've got the nutrition support team. We've got my coaches. We'll do a three-way call. We'll figure this out together. So the team coaching thing is just awesome. You know what? I could say so much. I'll stop there. There's just so much good stuff that's happening. But I think it's really when you work really closely with your coaches, you really begin to trust the process and each other. And I think they know what I need and give it to me when I need it. So I think it's good stuff. It's working. <laughs> Janet, that is a great 
tip. And I'll ask you for one more. So because I mean, just listening in and knowing you don't have to do everything and just taking the steps and know they got your back, you know, believing in anyways, just like you believe in program, you believe in supporting others and you just keep taking those steps. What's one thing, because we're gonna get into really some good client support. There, what's one thing that you've really been enjoying that you stepped up in your client support game that you've maybe been practicing or really been seeing some enjoyment in? Um, <laughs> I think I had a mind shift that I thought I couldn't handle like a whole bunch of clients. Mm -hmm. and that's not true. I, I, I made a concerted effort to say, whoa, if I say I can't handle it, I may stop attracting clients. And, you know, I believe now it's like the, the, the clients just keep coming. I, I'm still attracting them. So I'm getting even more into being with my clients, like making sure I touch everybody each week, you know, where before I'd kind of maybe miss a week or two. So I'm actually having so much fun just learning from them and being with them. I'm becoming a better coach and I'm actually looking at coach from another perspective. I don't have to coach them and fix it and have the answers. I'm really more of a support. Like I just, hold the vision of their success and I have their back to me. That's my new definition of coaching. I don't have to figure it out and fix it for them. I just love them and they just create results. So it makes it so easy and I wanted it easy. I make it hard in my head, but it's, it's so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I love it. So many great things there, Jan. I, we just <laughs> stop on, on, on all of that, but basically loving the people you're supporting, not putting any limitations on that and really just learning and not having to be the master. That's so good. I love it. Who else has some great tips they want? Oh, by the way, congrats on integrated regional director. Fantastic. Thank you. Any other good tips in there before we I, get into Brad, that? I have something. Yeah, go for it, April. Um, I just want to, you know, tag on to what Janet was saying, because honestly, it's, it's what, the whole Miller organization preaches, and it's so true. When when we do the team coaching, it, it makes all the difference in the world. You don't have to rely upon yourself. When you rely upon yourself, then it, it just makes it so hard. Um, so I just find that, you know, when I, I'm talking to Lori, and, and she sees things through different eyes than I see them. I mean, I think that I look at things pretty pretty good, but just having another set of eyes so when we're doing client support calls together, when we're doing things like that, it just, it's, it's show. Well, as a matter of fact, today, Lori and I had a call with one of my clients and honestly, the, the amount of compliments that she gave us about, she's never seen such support that she just loves this whole thing. And so, yes, now she wants to look into coaching. Because we're showing her with team coaching how it's possible. So I just, you know, that's one thing. And then the other thing that I'm really getting a lot of by working closely with Lori, and that's just one thing. If I have any advice to give to anybody, it's just working closely with your business coach. Because that's the number one thing. So Lori is having me really expand my horizons and looking at who would I want to be on my dream team? Who would I want to have be my, be coaching with me? And so I am going way outside my comfort zone and way outside anything I would have ever even imagined. And I am now approaching people. They're not clients, but they are people that I know love to help people. and. This is just the perfect thing, perfect match for them to expand what their mission in life is, and therefore it's going to help. It's going to help even more people. But once again, they're going to see it through the eyes of team coaching, so it's not all on them. I so anyway, I just I can't say enough about the support of this group and you, Brad, and your mom and your dad, and and especially Witten. He's yeah. been a big help. <laughs> Hey, April, that's such a good tip because it's all the basics, you know, working closely and just connecting. And what you're doing is you're showing people, um, you know, multiple layers of support. When people feel like, oh my gosh, there's so much support here, they feel safe. They feel like they can do more. And you're also, and there's so many things that we'll be covering a little bit about that later, how to do that and keep that simply in there. So I love the tip. And also what it's done for you is it's really helped you see like, wow, like you've got a broader spectrum of what you're looking for. Now your eyes are open bigger. So Fantastic tip of what's working for you. I can take that home for going into next month. Who else has something they want to share before we hop in tonight? I have one, Brad. Go for Jump it. In here. 
Hey. So I think, you know, gosh, built on those two amazing shares, because all of that is so great, is one thing that we have found is really helping us and our team is really being honed in on time blocking. Because what happens is when we're growing quickly and we're excited and we're, but all of a sudden does it take life and what happened and how do we fit that? So one thing that we've learned in the last few trainings and really tried to lock in is where do we put this in our life so that we don't lose sight of our healthy journey, we don't lose sight of our life and we don't lose sight of building into other relationships so I would say that would be the last piece that one thing that maybe in the whole uh, all of the shares that have been on here tonight that I would add has been a really great tool that um, making sure we put time on our calendars for us and for our work and then for our play and how to really meet um, the people that need us where they are even if they're not clients yet. So that would be one thing I would add that has been so helpful for Tim and I, is just really working on what does our schedule look like. I love that, Kelly. We actually have some tips from you from our local professional organizer, and that is honestly a huge piece. It helps you touch more lives. And again, because this is all centered around the idea of better, you know, showing up better to serve our clients. So awesome tip. I love it. Let's do maybe one or two more before we get here. I think we're getting more from people sharing than we are from what I'll share later. <laughs> Hey, Brad. It's Amber. What's up? Hi. Hey, everybody. So um, I just wanted to share something that's changed for me over the last couple of months, and I don't know if anybody can relate, but um, one thing that's really changed is my willingness to connect with all of you in community. Um, so I'm seeing some of my favorite faces on here. I tend to be kind of a guarded person, and so... Um, doing my coaching with my clients is one thing because that's one-on-one -on -one and it's really about them, but um, we all need our cups filled too. And so something that's changed for me that's really changed my business is doing um, team power hours for one. That's been really powerful. Um, it's weird for me to do work with my peers. I'm so used to being in like a corporate structure where you work for your boss um, or for the customer, but with your peers, it's fun because we collaborate and we help each other and we support each other. And, and uh, frankly, um, some of you on this call tonight got me through some really um, challenging times. So <laughs> thanks for that. Um, but I just wanted to bring that up as just community. And, and also the second thing is, is feeling um, safe enough with myself that I can share openly with my clients about what my own challenges are. So I don't mean that in a way where I'm unloading, right? Anything that's happening, you guys can see my daughter in the background, but like talking about stuff like that and just the, the craziness that can happen in the day, instead of trying to like get to a quiet place and pretend that life is perfect, um, I'm really allowing some of that in. And it's funny because now I'm noticing that my clients are, um, asking about it and and some of my newest clients are reaching out to me because they love that idea of family and an integrated life so anyway those are my two things i wanted to share tonight amber drop the mic that was so great i love it one just <laughs> just just the plugging in and just the realization of that we have something a little bit more beautiful here than how what most people have the ability to be a part of but also i still remember susan labelle when she was getting started. She's like, yeah, I call my clients. You know, my kids are screaming in the background. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, I have little kids. Like it makes you a real person. This is relationship business. So beautiful. I think a lot of people probably glean something from that. Let's do maybe, I wish I had like an hour to go on about how great that was, but um, we don't, I want to respect your guys' time tonight. Um, let's do maybe one or two more and we'll, then we'll jump into some great stuff tonight. Great stuff, Amber. Can you hear me? I was yeah. Like go, oh, Andrea, go for it. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love our community. This is, this is just awesome. You guys, so many awesome tips. Um, one thing that, um, I'm working on is adding my inactive clients to my hundreds list and really reaching out to them. Um, and just offering extra support through the next two months because so I'm finding that so many of them are ready to jump back in and I coach that's been a big one. 
And also, um, most of them were saying yes, and then I'm adding them to the 247 page to the focus group, or at least telling them about it, so then they can join us, getting help through the holidays. I love that. Andrea, amazing. And I think that's a tip that we can all take home. And really, when we actually just get in the motion like of actually reaching out more often than, than not people, especially if we're doing it just authentically and serving people, people want help. It's been really, anyways, I'm not going to go up because I've seen the exact same thing. So great tip. Let's jump into tonight because um, so we got some great stuff to kind of help, you know, the focus of kicking off the month and um, a lot of celebrations and a lot of people that are just continuing to make a lot of things happen. So congrats to all the people with the new rank ups. But more importantly, you know, in addition to that, congrats to all of you. You guys are all kicking butts. You can't always get a new smiley face every month. I see you guys doing the great work out there. It's really powerful. And I just felt really abundantly thankful to be called into a lot of like, you know, three-way phone calls, story calls, and just watching many of you guys continue to move forward. And you know, just operating from a place of gratitude, realizing how far I've come and realizing like, wow, my whole family has lost over 2000 pounds. Like it's a really fun place when you're operating from a place of gratitude. And then just seeing like, you guys should see my Facebook. I wonder what, how lame people's Facebooks are if they're not in Take Shape for Life. Like there's so much inspiration and positive stories that just flood my newsfeed. Like it's incredible. Anyways, but I digress. We're going to focus on some things that, that help you guys kick off the month. And again, what we're going to cover tonight is the simplicity of really serving others. Um, you know, we call it the art of being a TSFL entrepreneur. And really all that means is really living very well, serving others. Um, you know, like where Janet was saying like, oh my gosh, like I didn't put a limit on myself and I'm now I'm embracing it. And that's just like Dave Blanchard, who speaks on our calls regularly, has a thing about saying, you know, it's uh, living life full speed versus half speed. And it's way easier to live it at full speed. And by full speed, we mean abundantly taking ownership and living well in every area of your life. So we're going to go over those simple basics for all of you new coaches. And the great thing is, is it never goes beyond the basics that we're talking about right now um, that really help you hone in on what you need to know to serve people really well. Um, and just remembering that the simple formula, you can do whatever it is you want every single month. But if you want to know a really great cadence, if you're looking for the potential of what's around you, just look into five and one, your coaching every single month. There are five people out there that want help and five people at a time make a huge difference in your business over time. And within those five people, if you're serving, connecting and, and watching them, there are people like your guys itself that want to pay it forward through right away, awakening through, you know, maybe people watching them, they don't realize that they have the potential. But anyways, this is the formula to look for. You can do more, you can do less anyways. Like this is a good pace to know that that's what to go for. And then just also knowing the building blocks of your business. You know, the best nonprofits are very, very smart with their business plan. So you want to know your ins and your out as much as you know the heart. So I'm going to cover a little bit of the compensation stuff just so you guys can know it's possible because one, I think we get paid really well for serving people and I'm really, really proud of that. Um, but the building blocks that really only thing that, um, that makes, you know, that you need to pay attention to is your amount of senior coach lines of business you have and the amount of frontline volume you have. You get one point for every 1,200 in frontline volume, and you get one point for every line of senior coaches um, and above. And then basically, the rank of executive director, which is the first like leadership position of our business, is based off of five points. It can be any combination of those. So just understanding points and getting familiar with these things, believe it or not, help you serve people even more. Um, and again, I'm not gonna go through everything that I went through last month, um, but you can see here, just knowing the compensation is really helpful for you. I talked to a lot of people and they didn't realize how they got paid. And then also just really taking full CEO, um, you know, approach to your business, knowing what you get paid. And a really good way to look at it is a lot of people don't pay attention because their you know, direct deposits trickle in every single month. The best way to look at your month is to realize what you got paid for the amount of people you served during an entire month. You know, you had a certain amount of money go out, just like a business, and you had a certain amount of money come in based on what you, you know, the amount of people you were serving. So the cool thing is it exponentially goes up the more people you help. So just knowing some of the basic things that like standard when a coach gets started, that they get paid 15%. At senior coach, which is the first thing we want to help people reach, they get paid 5% more. It's a huge pay raise. And then you also earn 3% for being certified. We can get into more of that later. But then every rank after that, in increments of 1,200 or a senior coach, it goes up 2%. Basically, you can just kind of see there by rank, and I even put number of clients here that you can see there. 
is it goes all the way up to 31%. So just knowing what you can compensate it for, the good deeds that you do. Honestly, I feel that it helps me even show up even more to my clients. My wife always says, like, we get paid really well to make phone calls to these people that are asking for help, you know, so show up with full service because we do get paid really well for it. And knowing that as it goes up, like a manager, you know, helping about um, eight-ish clients, make almost $700 a month. Associate director, 12 clients, you know, it's about $1,000 a month. Executive director, you're making at least probably around $2,000 a month. And people that have moved up here and a lot of the people that spoke here running well over 9,000 frontline volume, you're making just nine thousand or $3,000 a month just on supporting clients thriving in their health. So that's one way that we get paid because we get paid three different ways. Um, we get compensated through bonuses. So just like for serving people every three months when you're over 2000 and certified, you make an extra rolling consistency bonus. It's either going to be 250, 500 or a thousand dollars based on how many people you're serving. So the more you serve, and for all you executive directors out there, you know what I'm talking about when that $1,000 bonus rolls in every three months, you love it. We also get bonuses for helping coaches get a good start, a $100 bonus. And when you're a fully integrated business coach, every three months, you just get another $1,000 bonus. So you're rewarded really well for serving people. And then the third way you can make bonuses is through helping your team. And you either make it from the difference in that compensation you saw there on clients from when they're getting started or when you help them reach executive director, you make 2.5% on their entire business. And then there's even national and global and presidential bonuses where you continue doing, uh, you know, making that. So, um, you know, I just really like to encourage that this is all basically so you guys can understand where your reward is for the time that you put in, it's worth it and there is an exponential growth on that. But that just more importantly, as we're focusing the main topic tonight on just how we can best serve people, knowing that you get paid really well for serving people, it really kind of helps make those extra efforts in reaching out there. And I did an example last month of what kind of compensation can be. I don't want to go into that because I want to spend more time on some of the stuff that's really going to focus on clients, but really just to kind of give you guys an idea. If you're around like an associate director or director, Mark, maybe helped your first coach, you know, you're probably in that $1,200 a month range. But what's really cool, and this is what I really like seeing, because the awakening this will help you take even more ownership of what you're doing and want to help you make a difference in more lives. If someone was in that around there next month and you just keep taking these steps that we go over tonight, it exponentially grows the following month. So like, let's say one person was, let's say Susie Q was here last month. She's a director by Blended Pass, She's making around $1,200. She was maybe over $2,000 the month before and she's certified. If she just keeps focusing, maybe brings on six or seven new clients, brings on a new coach, helps her current coach. The following month with bonuses, she's making 3,000. There is a three times basically growth in income just by having the, the desire to help more people. And we're going to kind of go over those things here tonight. So that's the nuts and bolts of all those things. And I really love it because honestly, I feel like we get paid really well for doing a great service. But that is what we're going to focus on most tonight is how do we best support our clients and how do we best set up our month so that we can work this into our lives no matter where you're at. And again, we're talking to all of you new coaches that have joined us and done a really good job. We're going to show over the things that really help you get a good start. So again, the basic things that you need to know is that there's really only three tools you need to grow this business. There's your map. Um, there is your contact worksheet. So everyone that you're continuing to think of can be jotted down so you don't forget. And then there's a client support binder with client profiles that I would highly suggest using. For all those that have your map, like I, you, I still do mine every single month because it helps me keep account of who I'm serving and what I am creating. So I know many of you guys already have them done, have them pouring in here, but I wanna go over a little bit of this. Um, I'm gonna go over some details on how you can fill it out. Um, and then Susan and Laura will be covering some great things on this later um, in, in different avenues. But really what the map is, is it's structural tension. And if you guys are not familiar with that term, it's in the habits of health. It's one of our main tools on how we help clients really desire and create an abundant, optimal health lifestyle by focusing on where they're currently at to where they desire to be and putting action steps in there to make that happen. That's what your map helps you to do. It also helps you to keep really good account of your clients that you're serving. So again, just perfect practice makes perfect. It's really important to write down where you were the month before. You know, really, what did you do with, the, with your time in the last 30 days? So you can mark it down in here, your rank, your frontline volume, all of these things. It's great to take account of this and fill them out even all the way, even if you're a new coach and you don't have a team yet. It really helps you get familiar with those things because eventually that will grow 
when you're focused on the, on the serving of people. Then you go up here next, and this is one of the coolest things. You get to write out what you want to accomplish this month. And there's a big white space in here because you can put in anything that literally makes you excited, you know, that, that gets your heart going, that whatever it's to you, because it's not just about numbers. Uh, but you can take a look and also measure some numbers that you want here. If you're like Janet, I would highly suggest not limiting yourself. You know, when you put that limitation on yourself, you're just limiting the amount of people you can help. So look at what's possible and what you want to accomplish this month. The next thing that you want to do is you can fill out your right here. I'll show you how to run a Be Slim report so you can see which one of your clients are on track. It helps you make sure that they're all doing well. And you can figure out which clients you're supporting so you can kind of have your brain all wrapped around it. You can also know where you're going to finish up when you're starting the month if you just keep focusing on serving the people. Down here below, you can keep track of the people that are like top on your list if you just connect with them and fit them into those little nooks and crannies that you can help. Um, it really helps you if you're working off that contact list. And then as well here, out of those people, like Janet was talking about, about just the people that they see, you know, the possibilities of serving their lives, where the different areas of the trilogy can serve their lives, you know, what the match would be and, and how great it would be, how much they would enjoy this community. You can start to put those people that you're really focusing on and want to raise up um, into paying it forward. And then you also right here, you put down the coaches you're working with, because just like we want our clients to succeed very well, we want our coaches that come into our community to succeed very well. So we always keep track of them getting a really good start. So that's how to do your map. And more importantly, what this does is this gives you a whole wraparound of everything in your business. And it gives you an ability to focus on where do I want to spend my time? Where do I want to serve? How do I want to raise up? And one of my favorite things is it allows you to not ever shortfall your clients. Does anyone ever here wish that they could predict the future? Well, I can sometimes because if I have a client that says they're doing well and then I don't see a be slim for them, I know that something's going off. And instead of finding out the hard way like four weeks later when I could have got ahead of them and actually really assisted them, I'm, 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 I'm making smart business decisions, but really what I'm doing is I'm best serving my clients and I'm making myself um, as effective as possible. So that's how you fill out your map. And then how you really do this is you go into your back office under reports, you can pull scheduled B slims. I know many of you guys already do this, but I love doing the, the basics of it. You can run a report for the entire month. Um, if you did it before the start of this month, you would do it um, from the first day of the month to the last day of the month. And what it's going to do is it's going to spit out a report of all of your clients um, on program and um, their rewards available. And it will do it in ascending order of their B slim date. And what's really great to look at here is you can start to predict kind of what's going on here. Like at the very beginning, like, hmm, this person doesn't say, I haven't really heard from them in a little bit. Like it says, you know, Dina has a B Slim set to go, but I haven't heard from her. I wonder if she's doing well. So not only do I want to understand this for my business, because that's a great thing to focus on too, but it's giving you extra reasons to find out what's going on with your client's success. You can also find out like, hmm, Glenda doesn't have any rewards. That means she's not ordering, you know, um, you know, in, in good succinct, which means she's not on plan because she can't be on plan without food. So it just lets me know which of my clients need help and it allows me to know where my effort should be spent at. And it's just like predicting the future. You can know where you're going to end up by the end of the month and you can know who needs the support and where you want to focus more on. So um, again, going back to this, um, those are the areas to focus on and you want to start putting them in order from when they process first all the way up on your map so you can know where you're going to end up for those people that are you know around that associate director mark maybe you have 14 clients you know that you're only one two three four five away from maybe hitting that executive director mark it's so simple to find out where you're going to end up and you can kind of track how people are doing along the way and also make sure that you don't lose anyone. Like if you have, you know, you think you have 18 people that you're supporting, but you only have 13 B Slims, that means that something's off. That means something's awry. And you, again, you can better serve your people more effectively. Um, and that's, that, that's a lot of the reason for that. And again, I would only put full ordering clients on that. If they're wishy-washy, I just personally, I would put them down below in the top candidate list. I was actually having a conversation with one of our coaches today that recently hit executive director. And it was like, I would put someone there that you can't count on one. Cause you want to know where you end, you're going to end up at the end of the month, but also you want to be able to like fully serve your clients. So if someone's not, you can't count on put them right there. So you know that you can nudge them forward or help them or reach out and see if you can offer them any additional support. So that's the, that's the tips on how to use the map. Again, you guys, a lot of you guys are new or using this for the first time. It is a really helpful tool. And the main 
point of it is to help you best serve all of your clients and keep your brain organized so you can have a larger capacity. So anyways, now that we're done with that, and again, what's cool about it is the best of the best. I'm looking at Christy on my screen right now, and I know you do this every single month. That's how you've been able to change so many lives. The map is just to clarify. It's a main point. The main point of it is to, uh, you know, to have fun and ask yourself who you want to help next. So, um, just again, going over a month and getting set up. The the like what an on point coach has. You know, we're again hitting those main things that to focus on to help you be, you know, to really be successful in your coaching and serving of others. These are the things you'd want in your tool belt as you start off the month. You know, really having your mindset right before you walk out the door. You know, a before and after on Facebook is really helpful, you know, because the more people you interact with, the more people you run through, maybe find you on Facebook or just posting in your everyday life, they're going to know that some kind of a change is happening in your life. To know your story and to know how to keep it short and to how to make it about the other person, you know, just really like short and sweet. Like, do you know how to say those things when someone asks? I remember Susan LaBelle used to say she used to practice in the mirror. I love that. Just different things like that. Just know what you're going to say. And again, the really tips on, on sharing your story, short and sweet, tangible things that people can grab onto. It's not about you. They just want to know something works so they can find out how it's going to work for them. Um, a map and a contact sheet so you can keep track of all the people that are on your heart. It's so key. Um, and then a check-in day and a follow-up day and a backup day so you can really continue to work this in and not take many hours to do it. And again, a dialed-in health journey, which by the way, all you guys are kicking butt. Like Andrea, you just keep blowing up our Facebook message with how well you're doing on your health journey. Congrats to all of you guys on that. Because uh, when your waistline is shrinking, your business is growing. That's kind of one of our funny sayings there. But basically what it means is when we're on our health, we are more apt to be able to serve people. You don't have to be perfect, but just being conscious of it makes us you know, an even better coach to the people we're working with. Um, we covered this last time. Again, people just asking, how do I reach out and support more people? How do I find more people? And we covered kind of like the three, per, like the three posts a day you can do on social media, five connections a day, follow-up day. But really, I wanted to jump on some other, another way to look at it, which are just social media tips, which is one I already went over is change your profile picture to be a before and after if you haven't done that yet. That is huge. Posting three times a day. If you're not a poster that posts three times a day, don't worry about it. It's just a suggestion because you can post personal, you can post about your health, and you can also post and lift up the energy in your support page so your clients are getting support by your example. And again, posting on Facebook is not a buy my stuff, you know, sign up for my program. It's a, it's a leading by example. When people see other people making healthy choices, it makes them want to jump in too. So it doesn't need to be a before and after. It can literally be a healthy meal or a walk in the evening or a picture of us hanging out on this call around people that you really, that lift you up and make you better. Another tip on social media is think and like comments. If even if the likes, if people that are liking it, that's a time for a connection. Uh, mix up your um, update post on your journey. Like if you're moving forward, keep people apprised of what's going on. They want to know what's happening. Um, if someone asks you about information, make sure you make sure, or I'm sorry, you make sure you tag them and that you let them know that you'll connect with them in a private message um, on that. And then always take it to the phone is a really good one. And then reaching out um, to five or 10 people a day, like Dan Valentine says, and just saying hi. You know, I was actually talking with Susie Henshaw today, and she had a client hit 100 pounds loss just because she tried for a month to just reach out to three, you know, to five people a day and just start a conversation. No, no, no desire for it to go any particular place, like hopefully, maybe health, but just saying hi without any agenda. And it, that is a really good tip just to get connected with people on there. When you're staying connected with people in the real world, social media, whatever they're asking, they're remembering that this is one of the best things you can remember and put in the back of your brain. We're all busy enough. And just remembering the gold standard is to always take it to the phone and make it super simple for people. People are so busy. If you, if you ask them like when they can connect or you know this, that, and the other, that's just one more thing they have to think about. Make it really simple for people to get on the phone. If you have someone interested in that, they're looking for someone to help them with their help. Make sure you make it really simple for them to say just yes or just to pick one of those times that works so you don't have to coordinate anything you know, more on their end. They want to get healthier. They want to find out more. That's what you want to do on that. And just some reviews of sharing. Again, we were talking about best supporting people and where that starts. And it really starts from the, from the beginning. All of these things, your social media, like even before they become a client, that's how this really gets started well. Because so we've talked about supporting clients and um, Christy, you're on my screen and I see you nodding. You know how important it is for your clients where it starts from here. It really starts with how rich the soil is that they got their seed got planted in. 
So when you do connect with them, after you've just made it really simple for yourself, for them, these are the four points of sharing our program. You know, if you didn't catch it, Shireen and Lori did an amazing job last month in our mid-month training about like how a call could possibly go. It goes different every single time. But basically, it breaks down with always focusing on the why before you get into any of the hows of how program work. And basically, that just means, you know, the best way to start that out is with excitement, personally. I love bringing the excitement to what we do. They want to know what people are excited about. You want to make it about them. And, and honestly, my, my thought is, I don't want to say anything until I've really understood five to seven deep questions about what their health really wants to look like. And you'd be surprised just by opening up and having a safe place to share. People will just dive in and share with you like the most like crazy things that you never thought possible. Next, after you know the why, that's where you come into sharing the four components and how our plan works. And these are the things that make a really big difference up front. So when I'm talking about creating really solid client support, making sure you layer the four components, that there is a health coach, there's the habits of health book, there is a community, and we have different fueling plans. This will set you up to really help them later on with something Susan's going to share here in a few minutes. Um, and letting them know that there is a couple or a few options for them to get started. So then they don't get, you know, we have to listen to them and really help them understand where they're going to go. Our options are simple, but when we find out what they're looking for, 95% of the time it's five and one, we just want to hit on the main points that matter most to them. And really, I like to get out ahead with the cost on it and just say cost is about 11 to or $14 a day, depending on which plan you choose. And what's awesome is that it will probably save you money on plan. Like just get out in front of it. And because most people will find that that's a good value and your posture on that will be perfect. Um, I always like to ask the third thing is to ask questions. They generally will have questions that they need to clarify. And that just means that you're listening to what matters to them. And after they have any clar clarified questions that are just taken care of, after you know what they want and you've explained how it can work for them, the best thing you want to do is to make sure you always offer for them to get started. And I know I talked about this last month, but my biggest encouragement for you, I feel like I'm just like quoting Susan LaBelle all night, is just, but just cover your mouth, pause. And it's not because you know, some people might say that's a sales tactic, but really what it is, it's a posture tactic you know what's going to help them with their health and you want to listen to them let them make a decision and when you lay it out right there and just let them decide they'll tell you if they can get started or not they just told you what they wanted your pause and your ability just to listen and to not have any concepts about what may or may not happen will allow you to really just serve the person that's sitting in front of you um, if they say they're ready to get started or they they say they need a little bit of time or they're not quite ready or they want to explore other options just go with what, what they say. Either let them know you're going to be following up with them. Or if they say they want to get started, where I don't know if I was talking to Christy and I was excited to get healthy, I probably would say, yes, give me whatever you've got. I want to do it. Just let them know that most people start with a variety pack. We can do the Optavia or the Coraline. And what I was talking about with the 11 and a $14 difference, that's the difference versus the Optavia line versus the core line. These are just really simple ways for people to understand what's going on and how this will work while keeping it mostly focused on what their why is. The why is the most important part when we're helping people. Because no one has come along and probably asked someone, what is it that you really want? Like if you could do anything that you could you really want to accomplish, what would it be? That clarity is probably one of the biggest gifts that we give people is just the ability to just clarify what they want without anyone trying to get them to do anything. It's a really powerful tool that we bring to people. And then the only thing you got to know is where you would like the car, where they would like it shipped to and what card they want. It. That's how simple it is. And again, just going over these things. So it just becomes really simple for you guys. The Optavia kit. Four twenty six fifteen. That's that. That's their cost for getting started. That's the fourteen dollars a day one. Or there's the three forty six twenty five for the core line. The great thing about the core line is that they want to try the Optavia products. They get five free in their in their Be Slim rewards for their first five free boxes. So these are the great ways to help people get started. Just a repetition of it will help you help them really get started simply. And these are the last thing before I turn it over to Susan about really supporting our clients well through the holiday, which really comes into play this month. I know I've said it before and I'll continue to say it. I focus on not getting my clients into weight loss. I focus on an integration checklist for myself. And for me personally, it's a race to their second order because I want to prove to them by their second order that I'm going to be there to support them, that this is a way that's going to help them. They're not going to be dragged into any other way of thinking. This isn't going to be another fad that they started. 
And it all starts with these simple things here. And you can just check it off. This is the things that you do in the course of a month. And that's to send them a welcome email and add them into the group. Talk to them to the, the night before. And I personally love Zoom. I love looking people in the face when I'm talking to them about their night before so they can see that I'm a real person. It also gets them set up on Zoom so they'll be more apt to join our community. It's getting them just set up without them even having to realize the steps that they're taking, just like many of your guys' health journeys. Talk with them for the first four days. Open-ended questions. Make sure that they're getting the steps down of how to get their plan. And I always like to remember that it's not, well, I'm not – the, I'm not the diet coach making sure that they're on track. I want to make sure that they're catching the steps of this. Doing a new nutrition plan or doing anything new is difficult at first. So I'm really helping my friends get this under control because most people have a lot going on. So I want to be there to support them. Um, if you guys haven't seen this, this is a bonus thing you can do. I don't always even remember to do this, but there's a texting campaign in the simple systems. You can just copy and paste and there's a text that you can send to people to help support them on their first few days. That's that simple. And that's really been helpful to a lot of people that I've added that additional piece into after you get them into fat burning and helping them understand what that is. By the way, you're a hero. When you get them in the fat burning stage, they love you for that. Um, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's exactly everything that you say was happening is happening. Um, you move into a weekly celebration call. And I really suggest doing that one day a week. Um, it's going to help you support them. It's going to be very key for them to understand what's going on. And that's when they know they're going to hear from you. It starts to give them structure without a lot of time being put in. And then ideally, you would like to celebrate them and possibly introduce them to your coach or make sure that you're like April was talking about team coaching around day seven or day nine when they're really starting to get that they can do this. They've had their first win. They got through their first week and we can start to really help them understand those next level things that they didn't even think was possible when they were getting started. Another thing that many of you guys might forget is a tool that you can do. It's just a bonus thing is I like to introduce the well-being assessment from your website in you know the first week to two weeks. It will really change the conversations you have with people because they will start stop being so weight loss focused and they'll realize that there's other areas of their health that they want to that are maybe even already improving but they want to improve more on. Make sure they plug into the Facebook page and you can do that by tagging them. I always tag and reiterate things for my clients for in the first two weeks. And a lot of people want to be like, well, they're not just tuning in or they're not commenting. Do you know how many Facebook groups I get added to daily? But I don't, I mean, there's just, a, I mean, there's one every single day. It seems like I'm being added to help them see where the value is with this. Generally, they'll ask you questions about leaning greens or tips or support or ideas, tag them in them, refer them back to the group. It takes a while for things to become habit. Help them join the health huddle, help them join the community, and basically realize that they're not dieting and really helping them also find out who they can know and who or who they can inspire with their journey because every person has people around them that they can help. And then basically, this is the race. And I know I, it's so funny. I do count it as a race because when I tie a pretty bow before their first order and I show them how to update their order and I show them that it's 22 boxes for a next order and I show them how to take care of that and they can select all their own items. I know that I have a client for almost life if I really show up and serve them in these areas. So you guys can take a screenshot of this. I'll also add it to the support page. But following this deal, if you spend your time with your clients in your first month, that's how you create strong partnership. And I'm actually going to turn it over to Susan LaBelle. Oh, and this is actually just a really good deal here. Reminding our clients that it's not a straight line. Success really looks like that one. And like Don Chow says, it can actually look more like this, you know, that line on the far right. It can actually have less dodge and turns. But during this time is when you can really make some strong connections with your clients and support them. So I wanted to bring on Susan as we kind of wrap up tonight um, just to kind of share some great things on once you get into that weekly support ideas, after you've got that first month set up, and really even right now supporting your clients through the holidays or even clients that might come on this next little bit. What are some things that really make the difference for you, Susan? Would you share some of that tonight? Hey, well, thank you, Brad, for a great call. And hi, everybody. Um, I would love to just start with giving you guys a really fresh like, perspective on the holiday season with clients. Because what I have found, well, first of all, you should be getting really excited about what we do and how we can support them. And what I know is that if you really link arms with your clients during this time, because we've heard maybe the obstacles the way, if you've heard that term before, the obstacles the way, a lot of people think that health is an obstacle <laughs> during the holiday season. And when you can really lean in with clients and you get excited and you help them 
actually create something over this season. Here's what I know. This is like the best tip and this should make you really excited is that they're pretty much your client like forever. <laughs> like they love you. Like you can really, really assist them. Not only that, they're going to have so many referrals for you come January, February, you know, into the year. And so I really want you guys to really think of it that way. It's great on layering and planting lots of seeds, but I'm just really thinking about the people that have already been entrusted to you that have already said yes, that have like raised their hand and say, Hey, you know, I'm ready to move forward in my health. And so I love that weekly we get to, you know, connect with, we have kind of a, a layout and um, I know Don explained this really well at our last mid month kind of, you know, time together. And I just wanted to kind of share how I do this in a way that's just very conversational. Like people don't feel like I'm following a layout and I don't repeat the exact question every single time. But I love that when we do get together and we kind of, we talk about what, um, you know, what are we celebrating this week? And really what are we celebrating? Because we want to keep it positive and there's always something to celebrate. It's not, it's not always about weight loss. It's just what is really changing in their health. I think that's just a really great opening question when we're connecting with our clients and kind of see where the conversation goes. Um, I love the, what are you most proud of? You know, there's a difference I feel like between like gratitude, like what are you thankful for? And then to actually talk about what you're, for someone to talk about what they're proud of, it's like an acknowledgement of something they're doing really well. And we're not always good at that as human beings, but when they kind of explore that, um, it's a really great space for them to operate out of. And I will tell you, your whole conversation with those kind of opening questions um, just will make the whole conversation positive. Because what you want is this interaction that you have with them once a week when you're connecting. Um, you want it to be positive. So much so that next week, they're really looking forward to your call. Like they want to have that experience again. And so I love that, you know, what is a big win or what did you learn from this last week? And I think as we ask these exploratory questions, um, I mean, that's just, again, it's like, see where the conversation goes, but just understand this is what you asking questions. And I think it was, was it Janet that said, Hey, I'm not trying to fix anybody on a call. <laughs> I'm really just like kind of asking questions and holding up their vision of what they had for their health. And Janet, I think you're the one that also said like, you're having a lot of fun. Well, guess what? Your clients are having fun if you're having fun, because when you show up and you're having fun, like there's just an energy there on the call. And so, and then really just kind of closing up, you know, make sure you're answering their questions. But um, I think this time of year, what I love about the season is really just finding out like, what do they want to create? How do they want to feel on January 2nd? Like, describe that to me. Tell me about that. And then really be their champion and come alongside them and help them create it. Because you're going to find that there's going to kind of be three types of people. I mean, there's going to be the whole range, but kind of people that fall in the three different buckets. You're going to have those that are like, you know what? I'm so excited about my results. I'm like 100% all in. I just want to continue on my program and I want to be down another 15, 20 pounds by the new year. Well, that's awesome. Like we know how to do that. We know how to coach and support them on that, right? Um, the second is like a, probably my favorite because there's like, I want that. And then they'll say, but my mom makes pumpkin pie <laughs> or I have to have this or something. And what we can show them is you guys, there's 60 days between now and the end of the year. Six meals a day, that's like um, 360 meals, something like that, between now and the end of the year. And when we start, like, I love numbers, so, but we do a little math for them and we say, hey, there's 360 meals, and let's just say you chose three to not be perfect. So 357, you're doing pretty darn awesome. And three, it's like this whole new perspective for them, like, I can do that. And so they can have success. The goal is for them to feel like they're creating a goal and you're partnering with them and there's no way, they're not messing up, they're not cheating, and that they can have success. And then the third option is some are going to want to just really kind of go into more of a, you know, a three and three kind of a maintenance program until they're ready to kind of dig back in and that's completely fine. What we want them to know is that we're just here to really support them. And so with that, I would, uh, just for sake of time, I think where I would really love to encourage you guys is to invest, um, invest this season, you know, in your family and yourself, but really invest in the people that have been entrusted to you. And um, what that's really going to do is that's going to create just huge momentum into the new year. And you're going to create clients and, um, you know, a community like for life. And so it's really, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more. Brad, we're going to be covering this topic mid-month too, correct? on how to like best coach them. 
I think he's frozen. Am I frozen? No, I just muted. Yeah, we definitely will on the 19th. Okay, perfect. I thought it was my, my internet's been wonky today. But um, I'm just really excited. I hope that you guys are too, to, to support people um, through the holidays. Really, it's kind of the same thing as we do throughout the rest of the year. But um, I think when we can kind of really help them plan out what they want to see over the season, and then you really just show them that you're here to help support them and what they want to create. It's pretty powerful. I love that, Susan. And yes, if you do partner with people this season, they're your, they're your partner in getting healthy for life. So I love that question. Where do you want to be by the new year? And, and if it, you also need a good talking point, we're in the middle of a four-week health focus group. Um, it's been amazing. People have been so hungry for that kind of tangible support this last little bit. And we covered all the different kinds of nutrition plans they can choose to go over the season. So if you missed the health huddle or haven't been able to bring that up, it's a really powerful tool. As we wrap up here, by the way, thank you, Susan, for all those great tips. Really helpful on how we can reach out and support our clients during this time. Really good verbiage, and it really helps promote that relationship. Is just organizing and keeping, you know, basically on all the things that we said, keeping it organized. So as we wrap up here, I'm going to turn it over to our local organizing expert, um, Lori, so she can just share with us. Not only does Lori do this very well, and just really in the art of just serving others, but also balance and making a big impact in, in less time. But um, just the different things that she's shown people through her past experience in organizing and professional organizing. So, Lori, just a couple of tips for us for everyone as they're learning how to operate their business as we kind of finish up this month or as we can go into this month. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Brad. This call has been amazing. Um, can I share my screen, Brad? Yeah. Sorry, I was just clicking stop share. There you go. Go for it. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, so. Let me just push play here. Okay, so anyway, I, I love organizing. I love what it's done for me in my business. I love what it's done for me in my life. Um, so I'm very passionate about this topic. But you guys, one thing Brad's really worked with me on and mentoring um, myself and then also my team and our clients is we are, we're in the business of moving people forward in all areas of their life. And sometimes we can't really move forward until we make that mental shift. Um, and so it's, it's true what this says because, you know, when the shift does happen, everything changes. So where in your life, where in your business, um, does that shift need to happen and really put some emphasis on that. A lot of the times with people I work with and for me personally, my biggest shift had to happen with fitting this into my life. There was no other way because at the time I was very, very busy um, and I didn't know that I could put this into my life. And, and very much like what Janet said earlier, we're quoting Janet a lot tonight. Um, not knowing that she could bring on more clients, thinking with that abundance. Um, so much is possible if you're organized. And I'm going to kind of power through a lot of these slides because I know we're kind of running over on time. But, um, you know, get a calendar that works for you. A lot of people like um, electronic. A lot of people like paper. I like paper, especially when I'm feeling out of control. Because when I can actually look at a layout of an entire week, hour by hour, day by day, I can look at where the white spots are going to be. And I always put in my non-negotiables first. Things are very important to me to give me that balance, things that family time, um, workout time, spiritual time, if you still have jobs, fit that time in, um, and then go through with the other things, important trainings like this, um, power hours I'll talk about in a minute, um, your client celebration days, um, have a couple a.m. and p.m. times that work in your schedule, so you can give your clients some options and then some follow-up times as well. Also, you're going to want to make a to-do list. This is going to give you the best sense of accomplishment when you can check it off of your list. Um, have it all in one spot. I like to just put everything together, uh, like my grocery list, my errands I need to do, um, and things that people I need to follow up with. Put it all together so you're not like, where's this paper? Where's this paper? The more you can consolidate your calendars and consolidate your to-do list, the, the more organized you're going to be able to be. Set up that support binder. Uh, Brad mentioned that earlier. It's going to have things like your map, your contact list, your wellness tracker. If you don't already have a binder, you guys, really take a few minutes to just put it together. It doesn't have to look beautiful right away. I know I've changed my binder up several different times. Um, just to depending on the growth of my business, but this is going to keep you so organized. And really, it wouldn't take more than probably 15, 20 minutes just to get it all in order. Um, but you can pick it up, take it with you wherever you're going, and it's going to make your life a lot a lot more simple. Um, Ashley teaches a, a binder class that you guys can find um, and, and utilize that for deeper uh, 
understanding on how to put that together. I just want to talk really quick about the Power Hour and what it's done for me personally. It has given me so much freedom. Um, I like to have fun with what I'm doing. I want this to be fun. I'm finding a lot of time for client support um, for my teams. And then sometimes I was failing and doing that for myself. So I scheduled some power hours for my team to join. Um, I've, I'm doing them two times a week now because that's what I personally need. Um, and it is a lot of fun just getting together. We all put ourselves on mute. We get our work done. You are going to be feeling like for me, I just feel like I'm connecting more authentically with my clients. I, I feel accomplished that I'm getting it done. I'm feeling fulfilled. I feel like I'm more fully present for all of my clients. It's opening up conversation a little bit more instead of just trying to fit it in the nooks and crannies of the day. Like I'm fully present. Our conversations are going a little bit deeper. We're talking about coaching, inviting them in, asking them what kind of questions, if they've even considered it, things like that. I feel more relaxed. I'm not stressed. I feel like this time is allotted for me to make that connection with my client. I love feeling the energy of just seeing any of my other coaches that are on with me. And, you know, we're, we're not hearing each other, but we can feel each other's energy. We see the smiles. We, we see the work. And we feel like we're all doing it together. Um, I really feel like I'm showing up as the best version of myself when I have that a lot of time. I like to put a lot of emphasis on this because I kind of lost sight of that as I was getting busier and my business was growing. So I think the excitement you're getting from me right now is because I'm feeling it again. And I just, I love what it's doing for me. And I'm not having to think about it hanging over my head. I'm actually making it happen. Another thing that it really does too is, you know, because you are in that conversation a little more on purpose, not distracted, it, it brings up the opportunity to ask for referrals and that is a wonderful way to help to grow your business as well. Um, remember that this is your art. Your business is your art. Do what inspires you. Make it fun for you. Get out, you know, do it out in the backyard or, or go to a coffee shop. Make your office an inspiring spot for you that's going to really help you to, to want to be cre feel creative in what you're doing. Um, you know, one thing that I've really been working on um, as well is when we were at Sundance, um, Terry Miller was working with someone and she had uh, partnered with her and she said, okay, take a look at all the coaches that are in this room and who in this room would you want to sponsor. So think about all the coaches that you guys know. Look at our leaders. Look at just any coach that you know. Um, what, who, like make a list. You guys put some thought into who attracts you. Like who would you want to have in your business? And then really think about why. Why do you want them in your business? What um, traits do they possess that you would love to partner with and link arms with somebody like that? That really hit me. And after Sundance, I came home and we had this talk with all of my coaches and individually. Um, these are some qualities that speak to me. I love people with a servant's heart, inspiring, fun, motivated, successful, entrepreneurs, positive people, people that think above the line, leaders, people that are well-respected and trusting. Those are traits that really, really speak to me and people that I want to partner with and really think about people in your life that have that. I know April mentioned that earlier. She has taken this on to a completely different level of people that she's talking to and, and entrepreneurs in her life that she highly respects. Um, I have this in my organizing section because truly it can organize your thoughts in a way where you're looking at your business from a completely different perspective and it makes that shift that we were talking about earlier. And I'll just end it with this quote. Um, Ashley Miller said, if you are whole and healthy, you will attract whole and healthy. So you guys just take some time to really organize your day, organize your life, organize, you know, 10 minutes earlier in the morning to really think out your day and plan your day. And you are going to have so much fun with this. And your, your business is just going to flourish because it's not going to feel like a job. It's just going to feel like you're just having a blast doing it. So anyway, that's what I got for you, Brad. Thank you so much. So great, Lori. A um, lot of great tips. As we wrap up here today, kick off another month, guys, congratulations just for tuning in to yourself, growing yourself, and um, thank you just for what you do to grow yourself so that you can serve more people. Um, just a good recap here. One, thank you for everyone that shared tips tonight in the chat at the start throughout the call, Lori, Susan, and everyone in between. Just the basic start is here. Guys, use your map. Work this as your art. Have you know, have this time to just spend time on the, on the simple action steps and just touch your business 
a little bit by little bit and put these motions in here so you can really make the difference in people's lives. So that being said, what will you create this month? Let's go out and do it. You know, we're raising up people one person at a time. So um, the next thing is uh, we will have our next training on the 19th of November. It'll be about 10 to about 1230. Come join us live. It'll be at Susan LaBelle's house or we'll be live casting like we did last time. Either way, we want to see everyone's great faces. Uh, we invite you guys all to be here live with us local. So again, really hoping to really own our craft, but give you guys good balance so that you can just have this fit into your life so you can just continue to serve more people. Thanks for all the great tips and guys, congrats on everything you do. Loved all everything tonight. Thanks for spending the evening with us. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Susan. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Thanks Brad. Thanks so much. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.